Oh wow, there's already people in chat. <laughs> uh, Rayu, Rayu, you're first. Hello, Fly Bunny. It's 11 p.m. on the East Coast. I'm gonna drink an ex espresso shot just for Nate. <laughs> Can you guys hear the music? Is the volume okay? Volume is good. You've been watching your YouTube videos for like the past week. Hello, I'm guessing you recently found me, Rayul? Rayul, Rayul. If I know a dumb in a can, maybe he's a lurker. What flavor of Burt's Bees was that? Uh, just a classic. Uh, focus, please! Zekin, hello. Ooh, ADB7, hello. K. Kaija, Kaija Gogo, hello. The City at Night, hello. Shenanigans, no, you're not late. Generics193, Solotov Benz, hello. Polyzu, hello. Hetoja, Sergeant Beerface. You were just watching my last stream on YouTube while you were desoldering. Hello, Rumai. Hello. So this is the board we're gonna be doing today. Uh, just giving it a couple more minutes before people come in. Look at this box. Oh, Zekian, thank you so much for the. I say five. Five months in a row. Zekin's one of the OGs. Step on me, Nathan. That's too mean, Zekin. I don't want to step on you. <laughs> Generics193, hello. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Polyzoo also with the Twitch Prime sub and also a five months in a row. Thank you, Polyzoo. Yes, today is an Alps build. Your switches are somewhere in my state, by the way. Dissonant, hello. New here, guess I opened the stream just in time. Yes, we haven't started yet, so just hang tight for a couple minutes. Spectrin, hello. Uh, AU go back. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, the customer today wrote uwu on one side, and then it has owo on the other side. They even wrote in Korean, kamsamnida. It's pretty cute. 
pretty cute. Rumai, your Q copper looking so nice on Quantric stream earlier. What? Quantric built? Did I get a copper Q? I don't even know what Q color I got. <laughs> he built my Q on stream? Zamus, Zymus, Zamus, hello. You got copper plate and weight. Huh, okay. I will have to watch the VOD if he has it up. I saw him working on the Sakura. Was that mine? Or was that his? Oh yeah, okay, so he built his. Yeah, I, I, I did see him building his Sakura and then I had to... I was still at work, so I couldn't watch all of it. Andabu, hello. How do you not know you got copper SMH? Rumai, I don't know. <laughs> I thought I got a custom color, but yeah. I, I just like being pleasantly surprised in life. Uh The Meeseeks. Uh, Xburner X4, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, Meeseeks pinged pretty early today. Loom981, hello. Ooh, Glacier, hello. It's been a while since I've seen you on stream. <clears throat> Doing pretty good. Yeah, I've, I feel like I haven't seen you in a while, Glacier, on Discord and stream, and YouTube, and Instagram. Tonka Tonk, hello. <laughs> oh, yeah, everyone's gonna be talking about this. Uh, Mo, Moo, Mo Zero, hello. <laughs> Just give it a couple more minutes. How is everyone's Friday going? June one five four G four O O hello. Mog genius. How do you like bamboo versus pine alps? I hear the only difference is sound. Uh, Mog. To be honest, I haven't tried black alps all that much, so I can't say. Yeah, I don't I don't have too much experience with Black Alps. Hatsuniki, hi excited for the first Nathan Alps live stream build. That is actually incorrect Hatsuniki. <laughs> uh, I think this is my third or fourth Alps live stream. The first ever live stream I did was my duck Orion and that was all that was an Alps stream. I've built an Alps gasket 00, zero on stream as well. Yeah I think that's it. And then this is the third one. Oh your first one okay <laughs> makes sense. Mega Force oh well let me slurp your toes. <laughs> Anytime you want Mega Force. Ooh Weaston Miller hello Loom981 whoa my man Mark Ham Kenobi First brown alp stream though. That is also incorrect, Polyzu. The gasket 00 was with brown alps. Gandalf the Mandalf, hello. Gang Stout 1, hello. Weston Miller, do you have any new alps boards to build soon, Nathan? Yeah, today. Uh, I do have a couple more alps builds lined up. 
Will my Alps gaskets stop? Ollie LSC, thank you so much for the subscription. Alps Omega Low Mega Forces. Eddie, I need a standalone Brown Alps typing test on your channel. Eddie, there is a Brown Alps typing video on my channel. Uh, if you search the IBM 5140, it's Brown Alps. Ooh, ma'am, mom, hello. First time viewer, you, you're a troll, ma mom, ma'am. Nathan, if you sniffle one more time, you'll have to change your name to 002 Anthony? What does that mean? Where does Remsky find him? Eddie, no, no, there is a standalone typing video of the IBM 5140 on my channel. Who pinged me on Discord? Gay, hello. Arctic Fox, hello. Spectrin, hello. Uh, five more minutes. Eight ten. I'll and then I'll start unboxing. Ma'am, message to mom. Message to all viewers. I use Remsky's leaving service. My switches came back feeling like wet sandpaper. <laughs> Do not use Remsky. <laughs> uh, what did Rumai link? There you go. Rumai linked the IBM 5140 Brown Alps typing test. We also should switch to Ubu for those of you guys joining late. Chicken, can you start in about 15 minutes? You have to shower, that's a bit too long, man. I'll probably finish the unboxing in like 15 minutes. Tommy Crayons, hello. Brown Ops, yes. Ham time, hello. Be take NK into the show. Brain Dead Child, what a name. Nut suck, but fuck, ooh woo. <laughs> Is this a client build? Yes, this is a client build. Mega Force. Nathan makes my boy hole drip. <laughs> you make mine too, Mega Force. Generic giraffe, hello. Two more minutes and then I'll start the unboxing. It's the first time we're gonna have a duck sidewinder on my stream. Um, also the first time I'm gonna take a look at it too, so. I, I only opened the box, I haven't actually looked inside. So it'll be a first. Eddie wanted to ask which MX stabs are recommended. Uh, GMK screw and stabilizers, if possible. Vincy Green, hello. Doing pretty good. It's late on a Friday. Uh, Rayul, thank you so much for the one tier one sub. GMK stabs any different from Cherry stabs? I thought GMK stabs were manufactured by Cherry. Um, they're only 
though they're essentially the same thing the only difference is if you get screw and stabs or clip and stabs those are the only differences um, at least for cherry stabs co-star stabs are a different thing same with plate mount but yeah just get PCB mount uh, screw in if possible and then if you can't then clip in I flipped my spacebar, am I cool yet? Yes. Shenanigans, did you like the tea leaves with the milky top more than the clear tops from last week? I don't know if I like it more. Um, it's hard to say if that Zephyr sounded good because it was the Zephyr or because of the milky tops. But that build, I liked it. I liked it with the milky tops. It sounded really good. What do you think about a wind keyless hot swap tofu for a first build? That is a pretty good first build, Vincey Green. Ooh, Putsy, hello. What is that all blue name? Leviathan77, hello. Okay, it is 810. Let's get to the unboxing. So, first time we get to see a duck sidewinder. Chunny Pie finished my homework, Nate, and ate ice cream. Good for you, Chunny Pie. We're going to be building it with some brown alps today. Supposedly they are close to NOS. So we'll see. They were harvested from an IBM 5140. Uh, I was also sent SGI granite alps keycaps. So hopefully that turns out well. Ooh. Okay, so this is the plate for today. We have an aluminum plate. Aluminum? Actually, it might be stainless steel. Pretty, pretty protected. Hmm. It's in there tight. V tight. Yeah, if, I thought it was aluminum because it was a little bit flexy, but I think it is steel. It's pretty heavy. Uh, I don't. He, yeah, he, this is all from Prime KB, so pretty sure it's steel. Soylent. I haven't drank Soylent in so long. Ooh. All right, let's take a look at the Sidewinder. You should salvage some of that to upgrade your desk phone. It's not my phone though so I don't think I can steal it. Ooh. Classic um, duck saran wrap. What the heck is this? Oh 
Wait, the bonbons were already applied? GG. <laughs> One of the bonbons got taken off here. <laughs> what is. Oh, I think this is like the. That the sticky material from the bump on must have like moved duck, over suck, to duck, here suck, while duck, suck, 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 duck, suck. Oh yeah, I don't think it's like anna Yeah, it's like that sticky material must have came here somehow. Well, where was that? Yeah. GG. Oh, holy pandas aren't great. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Can I even salvage this? No, it's like... I don't think this is salvageable. <laughs> yeah, it's like stuck to the saran wrap, so... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing from the looks of it, it was applied by the customer and then sent to me. Did they include extras? No, there are only four in here. They don't, there weren't any extras, so... I mean, you, like, it'll still stand on its own with... It has three of them on, so... I don't think it'll rock or anything. I mean, I think it's fine, it's just... It is annoying that you're missing one. <laughs> It's white. Let me see if I could reapply this. Will it stay? Yeah, I mean, you could super glue it on. I'll leave that up to the customer. Take a look at PCB later. Ooh la la, look at this. So this has Ducks. Ducks version of Tray Mount, which has the symmetrical um, mounting points versus the traditional non-symmetrical. Uh, configuration that a lot of tray mounts, standard tray mounts use. That is the side angle. And... Back. It's pretty much, if you took the... the Unicorn X Legend and then Duck turned it into a 60% tray mount. Like this lip is purely aesthetic. If you look at the inside, it's just a clean cut all around. <laughs> he just added this lip externally for that uh, aesthetic. And I'm guessing the PCB supports the same uh, underglow as seen with other ducks. All ducks have this side glow stuff happening. But yeah. Uh, I, I personally like the look of the Unicorn X Legend. I think it's pretty underrated. So yeah, I, I like the way the Sidewinder looks. Generic strap rip bump on, yeah. Uh, it, it's... I... It's staying for now. But we'll see. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Like, all the bump-ons don't look like they were put on straight. Or maybe they were shifted during... I don't know what happened. Yeah. Standard... Actually? It's been a while since I've seen it. Is this silver or gray? What does Duck call this?
It Sock D. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Infinite Stratos, what case is this? This is the Duck Sidewinder. Maybe the vehicle it was shipped in was warm so the adhesive softened. Yeah, I think so. Like, it looks like all the bump ons kind of shifted. I mean, this one must have literally shifted from here all the way down to here somehow. <laughs> so I don't know how that happened. Oh, it's OCD. <laughs> Oh, okay, so in chat, OCD is capitalized, but on on the uh, like the subscription banner, it, it wasn't, it was all lowercase, I couldn't tell. Fish milk, did I see your question from earlier? No, sorry, I might have missed it. Yeah, and Holy Pandas mentioned there are also no diffusers here, which Duck is iconically known for, having that diffuser is one of the Duck classic, so this is also missing that. Uh, so we'll see how this turns out. Also interested to see how this mounting system feels. Remski, Nathan, build. Hey, why are you so rude, Remski? I build when I want, okay? I'm just kidding, I love Remski. List of options. Oh hey, didn't realize you are streaming. So we have the PCB here. I am hangry today, SMH. Go get some food, Rem. How good is this like saran wrap material as opposed to like the nice like protective like sleeves that PCBs come in? Oof. So it says Eagle Viper 2.0 despite it being a sidewinder. Wait, what did the Eagle? I don't remember my Eagle and Viper having a PCB that had the cutout like this. Maybe this is new with the 2.0s? I don't know. I'm pretty sure my PCB was a perfect rectangle without the cutout. Yeah, yeah, I guess I did have the V1 PCB. Huh, V2, interesting. So this is the design by Buduk Huang Byungho Kim. I would have thought they would have started shipping with Snow Pro PCBs because Korea likes the Snow Pro PCBs for duck boards. But interesting to see that they didn't go with the Snow Pro route. Snow Pro software is also a lot better than the O2D software. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't make it. But I mean, Snow Pro works pretty closely with them, I thought. Don't they work pretty closely? Everyone's saying boo. It's not boom duck, it's boo duck. It's boo duck, there is no N. Um, yeah, so you can see the PCB has two RGB components on either side. Um, we are doing an ALP spill, so we don't tune the stabs first. <laughs> Boonduck? <laughs> Is that the silver or gray that board? I'm thinking it's gray, Putsy. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the gray. I don't remember duck silver being this light. It has been a while since I owned a silver duck. 
But yeah, this definitely looks gray. It's like either a dark silver or a light gray. But I would say, if I remember correctly, this is not the silver that Duck sells. Okay, this is also the classic Duck plate. You can see all these uh, burn marks on one Oh, that looks scratched. What the heck? Why does this plate look so scratched? <laughs> I mean, like, the burn marks are typical for Duck, but what is... This plate has seen some rough days. Um, I mean, it is the bottom. Yeah, it is, it is the bottom, so I mean, you won't see it, but... What happened here? <laughs> Buduk is a plate abuser confirmed. <laughs> I I I've never seen my plate look this bad with What is this? Yeah, it's definitely scratches like if I rub my nail against it, it can I can definitely feel all those scratches. Yeah, what what is it's like it, it's there's a huge area here. There's a bunch here. And then there's- can you guys see like what is this? What is this like discoloration? What it- I've never seen discoloration like this on duck plates either. Where did you get that hoodie? Fish milk says. Oh, this is from Ronin. Ronin. That is the brand where this hoodie is from. Vintage for sure. Every plate goes through a rigorous educational session. Plate used as door jam in the factory for a year. It came that way, generic draft says. Yeah. Okay. If it, I mean, if it came, I mean. It's on the bottom, but like, come on. It's almost like they took like a piece of scrap steel and then just cut a plate into it. <laughs> okay. Mom, I will start the build now, just for you. Okay, let's see how clean this brown alps are. Uh, they're desoldered decently well. Mm, not bad. Not, not bad. Oh, I didn't test the PCB. I didn't test the PCB. Yeah, they feel pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, if, if it was sourced from a, a, uh, a 5140s, 5140s are generally very well kept, so yeah. Oh, how did I let this song get in my playlist? What the? Who's this woman? Car, thank you so much for the. I don't know how many bits that is, but thank you so much for the bits. And a baby is crying next door. Pudsy, thank you so much for the, for the Twitch Prime sub.
When are when are putty streams coming? I need some more putty streams. I want I want a Pudzy slash Heine collab stream. Okay, PCB works. You're back at school, so maybe soon. Okay. nervous with that USB cable hanging in the air like that. What's wrong with having the USB cable hanging like that? Fish milk, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, so Alp switches do not click in, clip in. So I'm gonna solder a couple first. You need to do a what's in my closet video. Do you guys really care about what I wear though? <laughs> and interestingly, this PCB also supports both MX and Alps. That's pretty neat. Johnny Puck, can you do a mukbang, please? <laughs> Would you guys watch a mukbang stream if I did one? Or would you guys be angry that I'm not doing keyboard stuff? Who would watch a mukbang stream if I did one? Nathan only wears the most hipster clothes, baller baller out here. Yeah, I, I do tend to mostly shop at like boutique slash not as well known places. Not all the time, but. I do like to be somewhat hipster. Tommy Crayons, you would watch the shit out of that, okay. About one or two, I guess. Keyboard mukbang streams are my thing. <laughs> Putsy, have you ever done a mukbang stream? Dang, is, is this the new thing I must do in 2019? But well, like, which customer would want me to build their keyboard while I'm like eating a bunch of food? Or should I only do that for personal builds? Eat some Cheetos while I build my own board. I eat a baguette and talk shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess that is mukbang, yeah. Two birds with one stone. Use the keyboard as a plate for the food. Oh man. Okay, I think I have a 
decent amount of anchor points. We'll start placing the switches in. Eat Cheetos with chopsticks. I, I am the type of person that would TBH. If I have chopsticks around me while I'm eating Cheetos, I will use it. Mukbang doesn't have to be anything specific, right? Polyzoo asks. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm not too sure if there's like a... Like a set definition. My understanding of it was just that mukbang is just where you just stream yourself eating, I guess. Blank target. Is this a board for you or a customer? This board is for a customer. I am not too much of a 60% user. I only have three 60% now. Two of which are Topra, and the only MX 60% I own being the Gasket 00. Oh, I guess Alice. Is Alice considered a 60 yeah, Alice is a 60% too. Is it a 60% though? It has those three extra keys. What percent is the Alice? Would you eat a keycap with chopsticks? You want me to eat plastic? Uh, Pudsy, can we do, wait, I had an idea, can we do a stream where you and I do mukbang and it's also a keyboard talk show? <laughs> you want to do a keyboard talk show? <laughs> Chenupa, for your first mukbang, can you eat fried chicken using all 10 fingers? You're into some weird stuff, Chenupa. Pudzi, I'll eat a baguette. <laughs> Will it be like a like an over like overarching general talk show or is it gonna be like a Pudzi talks shit kind of show? And I'll just be like slurping food in the background. Ham and Remsky, you, you, uh, you, uh, you guys are trolls. So for Alps, at least with this build, you put on the stabs, you can put it on after. It's the nice thing with Alps. We should pick a topic and talk about it. <laughs> Nobody wants to watch that. Hey, I want to watch a show where Pudsy just rants about whatever geek hack topic we choose to decide on. I feel like that'd be a pretty entertaining show. I listen to NK slurping food. <laughs> Hi, how types? Did someone need Alps calves? Alps calves. We need to get Tai how types in here. Tai how types is already in my chat. Ooh, brown Alps feels so nice. Keep drama with Pudsy. The nice thing about this plate, fixed, it is 100% fixed. 
Uh, Sean Dumont, thank you so much for the subscription. Oh no, all of these are... Okay, this one's not bent. Ooh, we... Nice. Look at this. This is a completely oh, it's not focused. It's a completely fixed plate. That's that's the good stuff. Wild card. I haven't had the pleasure of typing on an Alps board. That that is a big shame because Alps are amazing. Wow, types. Trade me APC neon greens for browns. They are the same weight. I don't have neon green. Uh, Divine Marksman. Any word on those new red pandas? Oh, I actually spoke about them on a on my previous stream. I do have them. Um, they are essentially the same as Jesus pandas. But yeah, speaking of the new pandas, um, Novel Keys is a sponsor of this channel. If you guys haven't already purchased the Yawk pandas, uh, I would recommend them if you are trying to make your own holy pandas and missed out on the mass drop holy pandas drop. The Yawk red pandas, they're basically the same as the Jesus pandas. They just received a paint job. Uh, Novel Keys also has the glow in the dark Gatoron switches going on right now, as well as the new box. Uh, is it pink that they were called? Is it pale pink or pink? I forgot. Yeah, they, they also have a new box switch, a clicky switch, as well as some cool desk mats. So you guys should head over to Novel Keys. Dot XYZ to pick up some of the latest and greatest. Uh, and GMK Bento is also going live on Monday, I believe. It's a pretty interesting set, interesting color scheme. The, I, I don't think we have seen before. I don't know how popular it will be, but GMK Bento is like a refreshing palette. And then our second sponsor, Zeo PC. The Xeno group buy is still going on. There aren't many days left. So if you guys want to pick up a 75%, a high quality 75% board. You guys should head over to zopc.net slash types if you want to use my affiliate link to pick up the Xeno keyboard. Um, if you are interested in trying a half plate, the Xeno offers a half plate option. Zeo also has his new Z2 line of switches, um, which are pretty amazing. I've been using a lot of Telios lately. 
really good switches. But yeah, all of his new V2 switches are extremely nice. I would recommend them. There's an interest check for Pink Helios on Geekat. Oh yeah, I saw that. Um, I believe it was approved by Zeal to run. It's literally a Helios with a paint job. Um, the nice thing about that is it will be offered at the uh, the group by sale price, which was I believe nine dollars for ten switches. Um, just kind of funny because <laughs> Zeal is currently selling the Helios for not at a sale price anymore. So you could get the pink Helios for cheaper, and you'll be getting the same switch, just a different color stem. That'll be a good chance to buy it. Hi, how types? <laughs> Would you like an affiliate code? Yes, please give me an affiliate code to tie how types. Tie how types. Uh, Rayul, what is a half plate? So, if you know what a normal plate looks like, imagine just a normal plate like the one I'm using, but the area where the alphas are is gone. So, it's just a plate that surrounds the perimeter of the keyboard, or the PCB. That is a half plate. Uh, if you go on Zeal's website, it shows a picture, I believe. I could be wrong. But yeah, that is a half plate. How would you like to be our rep in Nathan's Discord server? <laughs> Does a half plate do just feel different? What is it good for? Yeah, it's for both feel and acoustics. Um, I would say it affects it affects feel greatly. Actually, having a half plate. Um, yeah. Um, it, it makes your typing experience have a little bit more give. There's a little bit more flex that is able to be introduced with a half plate. So if you don't like if you think that you know the current plate options are a bit too stiff, half plate would definitely be interesting to try. I don't know, my focus is out. I guess should have told me. Is that hyped elite? Sorry, I can't read the purple right now. You thought half plates were too flexy. Yeah, I mean, just because a half plate isn't for everyone. RX00023. All the cherry switches are able to be lubed. Uh, yes.
What is going on with tie out types? Shotgun Wedding, thank you so much for the follow. Axel Galvin, thank you so much for the follow as well. Tile <laughs> types, thank you so much for the follow. Sung Jam, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. How are you doing, Sung Jam? Tai Hao types, bye Nathan, bye Tai Hao types. Bye bye. Ray Yule, thank you so much for the follow. Today's build should be relatively quick, assuming the Alp stab wires don't give me trouble. Danger Bob Games, thank you so much for the follow. Who was first, Taihao types or Taihao types? Uh, Taihao types actually existed before Taihao types. The egg. So I know Arctic Fox won the QCP today. Did anyone else join in for the QCP and win? Did anyone join in and lose? I'm pretty sure Taiha Types was before you, Rem says. Yeah, I know. I said Taiha Types was before you. Okay, almost done soldering. Tonka Tonk, you won! Oh, okay, nice! Oh yeah, I do think I saw, remember seeing your name on the raffle. What's a QCP fly bunny says? It is a board that Mr. Quantrick is running. Well, it is over now. But yeah, it was a raffle kind of group board, group buy, where uh, you had to win the raffle to purchase it. Holy pandas aren't great. QCP no good for me. Feels bad. Holy pandas aren't great. Man, Mart, very good looking board. Would have been fun to have. Mart, I think I saw you enter, right? 
feels bad if you didn't win. All I can see is that I like watermelons. It's a random comment. How many of you are? Ooh, we have 85 viewers today. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, if you guys aren't on my Discord or follow me on Instagram, I will be streaming Saturday and Sunday as well at 4 o'clock p.m. PST so tomorrow and then the day after that I will be streaming as well and we, we have some pretty exciting boards to build this weekend and next week as well Street Classy, yay first stream, I finally see, saw live, been watching the YouTubes a lot. Ooh, glad, glad you can catch the stream. HXpers, XHXpers, hello. Okay, I think I finished, sorry, don't think I missed any, more the truth. Lock soldered on. I doubt the switch is bad. Let's see.
puke lemon, I'm here. How do we feel about Alps? Mean switch, someone says. Alps are definitely not a meme switch. Hey, hey, hey. What saw has a WhatsApp of Super Venners? Hey everybody, what? my name is Supervan and I am coming from Shanghai, China and let me tell you guys that I am so excited, I am so happy, I am really so thrilled to be right now sharing this amazing, glorious, super, and exciting moment of mine. Mm, this plate doesn't support... Let me tell you that we are really changing the keyboard as we know it. The keyboard community is not anymore the way it used to be. No. 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 Jesus switches. Wow. Jesus S. Holy pound is hard. Great. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh huh. Mr. Holy what? Panda, please. Uh, wild card. Wow, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. What? I don't understand. This plate only supports... Huh? PCB incorrectly made. <sighs> no. Okay, so I, I just took a look. So that's the caps lock. So you could see where I desoldered. There's no solder mask there, look. Okay, so the, this is, this only supports one switch. It's not, it doesn't support, it's not a universal caps lock. Like this, this is a fixed caps lock cutout. But if you look here, it doesn't go, there's no solder mask around where the pins are sticking out from. Like it goes through two holes, but it's not routed. It's just like, it's not right. <laughs> You're supposed, it's supposed to go through these two holes, which are where the Alps support is, but it goes through these two random holes. Like what? <laughs> That's why it's not registering because there's nothing that's not where a pin is supposed to go. How does this happen? And it's not like you're supposed to flip the switch. Like there's only one orientation the switch can go into. And it puts the pins in the wrong... Gotta desolder the lone pin. No, both of these are wrong. Remski. I don't know, should I just put like a dab of solder and then like overflow it into the corresponding <laughs> hole? <laughs> yeah, do you see this rim? Like you can, s I didn't realize there's no solder mask around where those pins are sticking out from too. Duck suck 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 
Improvise, adapt, overcome. Yeah, I might need to somehow jump the pins without making... Uh, but how do I not make it overflow into the... It's literally like... Okay, that, that is something I will do off stream. Don't want to waste too much time doing that on stream. Shim Shady, did you lose weight? Hey, Hakim, I did not. I'm, I'm too fat. No, yeah, I mean, I, I do have jumper cables, so I could jump it. It's just a matter of uh, making sure I don't short it because the pads are so close. I, I think it can be fixed. I, yeah, I will do that off stream. Okay, you're going to... Work on the stabs now. Enter. And why, why do I have... Oh, this is a... That's a bent wire. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have issues with it. Uh, Tulio Rex, thank you so much for the sub. Uh, Holy Pandas aren't great. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. What headphones am I using? I am using the HD 6XX from Mastrop. Text to speech, bro. Oh, I think Holy Pandas aren't great, might have written too much. I don't know. SKR4CH, thank you so much for the sub. <laughs> oh no, yeah, I think that, I don't know, is it too long? I don't know why Texas speech broke. ADB7, thank you so much for the 100 bits. So for Alps, we have these little clips that you have to put in first. So let's do that. Yeah, I'm not sure how this plate is. I don't know if we'll see if the stepped caps is misaligned or not. Rayul, thank you so much for the four bits. Get some shit stack on your desk with those. So, I mean, m this serves as a deck, an amp, my Babyface Pro. And it's honestly good enough that I don't need to get a budget stack like the shit stack. <laughs> GG. Texas speech does not like holy pandas aren't great today. Thank you so much for the 100 bits though. <laughs> I guess you guys can't see what I'm doing because the clips are so small.
Really, does text to speech not work if there's if it gets like caught by a filter? I didn't know there was a filter for text to speech. This past software better work. The world needs to hear my copy past this. <laughs> Ramsky, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, looks like text to speech likes Remsky. Maybe it just doesn't like holy pandas aren't great. From now on, I want you guys to call me the God Lube and respect my right to invade your Switch's privacy. If you can't accept me, you're a grease phobe and need to check your Switch lubing privilege. Thank you for being so understanding. <laughs> I second you, ally. Identify as Critox 205G0. <laughs> Ever since I was a grease, I dreamed of being binded to a thinner. People say to me that a person being a mixture is bad, but I'm a mixture with a binder, freaking pea brains. From now on, I want you guys to call me the God Lube and respect my right. Come on. Uh, Rubs Bubs, thank you so much for the follow. And thank you so much for the bits. Holy Pandas aren't great. Wildcard ADB7. Oh no. I second you ally identify as Critox 205G0. <laughs> Ever since I was a grease I dreamed of being binded to a thinner. People say to me that a person being a mixture is bad, but I'm a mixture with a binder, freaking pea brains. From now on I want you guys to call me the god lube and respect my right. One, two, three, two, three. Where is the shift? I second to ally identify as Critox 205G0. Ever since I was a goose, I dreamed of being binded to a thinner. People say to me that a person being a mixture is bad, but I'm a mixture with a binder. Oh binding. god, what have you guys started? From now on, I want you guys to call me the god lube and respect my right. Um, it looks like we were also sent the plunger which goes here okay now we tune the stamps and tuning stamps for alps honestly easier than mx in my opinion the annoying part is just installing the alps do for my Alps stabs first put some 205 or permatox inside the little clip okay and then For the mod key, you have the little clips. You also put some 205 in there as well. And with Alps, you can be a little bit generous with how much 205 you put in. Uh, the gap is a lot bigger than what it would be for a cherry stab. So yeah, I, I tend to be fairly generous. And then you take the wire, and then you also put 205 on the four points where the wire touches the plastic parts. So the wire clips in around these two bottom places. So you give it some 205. Which 
clip that on. And then you also put some 205 along these edges here. And hopefully, when you assemble it, that should do the trick. Ooh, that's, that's a good stab. You repeat that for the other stabs. So you put some of your thick lube or Permatex 205, Permatex grease, whatever you guys use. Put that in the clip first. Put some 205 or Permatex in the little pockets where the wire sits in. Okay, then you get your wire. Dab some 205 or Permatex or Super Lube or whatever you guys use on the two bottom corner edges where it clips into the wa the clips. Ooh. And then you also coat the top edges. And you should be good to go. See, it's honestly not too bad. And easier than MX stabs in my opinion. The most trouble you'll have with ALP stabs will probably be your spacebar, depending on if your wire is like bent or warped or whatever. Uh, the Schmiz, thank you so much for the follow. But yeah, as for all the 2U mods, um, they should be relatively easy and quick. And Alp stabs are also a little bit more forgiving with overdoing the lube, in my opinion. Mint Kali, thank you so much for the follow. with everyone here. 
This was my absolute first time observing how this custom Korean keyboard group buy is run. <laughs> and after seeing how his so-called nice guy, or as everyone likes to call him the keyboard god is so politely and pleasantly running this circus, I've lost Al. <laughs> what? Exclusive someone said, give me a break. At this point in time, late 2018, this board has nothing exclusive going for it other than the name. It's a 2014 design with some unnecessary added weights, because everyone else around is adding weights to their designs. It's very trendy, right? What copy pasta is that even from? <laughs> oh, it's from Jane V2. Captain Kringle Sack, where do you get your cables from? Um, can someone hit him with the cables command? I have a cables command. I get it from uh, West Foxtrot. Enjoy your exclusivity club, people, and continue to brag about how quickly you can fill in those Google Forms. Now that I've seen what this entails, I will not participate and support such circus ever again. I would rather send my money to weigh on KB fans and enjoy my mass produced chimes. Your mass produced what? Chimes? Now you can go on and trash me for speaking my mind. Lay praise on your exclusive keyboard gods. <laughs> Holy pandas aren't great. Thank you so much for the uh, the Jane V2 copy pastas. I think I do remember those. Pretty entertaining. Let's hope that the space bar does not give me trouble. Alp space bars are the worst part of Alps builds. Other than that, I think it's eh, not significantly. It is easier than MX builds. Assuming you've done the part of sourcing good parts. Thank you. 
Is there a second pipe? Hmm. Yeah, the space bar wire is bent, but it f feels fine. It's just the I don't know why, but this doesn't have the pull. Like the point of having the pipe is so you could stick your pole inside it. But there's no pull, so it's like hitting against the top of the pipe. Hmm. What can you guys... this I guess it's too dark like where right where my thumb is there should be a pole copulating with that plunger but there's no pole oh, I can't do this so like it gets caught on the plunger because there's no pole. There's like a half pole, so it's not fully inserted inside. Mm, yeah, might, might need to... You can either use it without the plunger, in which case your spacebar would get a little bit wobbly, or you entirely shave off that little bit. Yeah, other like depending on how I hit it, it doesn't go down, like it gets caught. But that is that is not a result of my build. That is a result of the the key missing the uh, plunger. Not the plunger, it is missing what am I trying to say? The pole. God, what is this? Oh yes, I said copulating, yes. The, uh, the issue with this caps lock I will have to debug later. Yeah, the only wish issue with this build was the caps lock being all funky. And plunger issue bt kamikaze br thank you so much for the subscription but otherwise i think the board the switches feel pretty good Thank you. 
escape. Smoker's space bar. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty yellow. But that's to be expected from Alps. Wow, this board came with a lot of the... Well, I don't know if the customer included extra clips, but that's a lot of clips. It's definitely extra clips in there. Invest so much money into keyboard, but not into retro bright. <laughs> uh, honestly, retro brighting uh, is kind of pointless. It comes back relatively soon after you retro bright it. So I don't know. For me, it's not worth it. I would rather just buy or harvest keycaps from a board that hasn't yellowed yet and then just take care of it well. How do you prevent that yellowing? Um, don't use it in direct sunlight. I believe red, I believe uh, these plastics uh, yellow because they are missing some kind of like fire retardant chemical, and then when it gets hit with sunlight, something degrades or something. Basically, don't use the caps. Yeah, you can only use it at nighttime. That is the only way to prevent old plastics from yellowing. Remember how that caps lock, the PCB was funky? So by the looks of this, the plate is correct. The caps lock is seated in the correct plate position, which means... I don't know. <laughs> which means this PCB was printed incorrectly. I don't know if other people who have built the Sidewinder have run into this. But from the looks of it, the caps lock is seated in the correct position. So yeah. Not sure how Duct made such an error. Uh, I thought I've seen other people build their Sidewinder and Ravens with Alps. I, I didn't read the threads about them, but I haven't heard of this issue, so... Yeah, not too sure how that happened. But that is the finished build. Right, let's place it into the tray. Oh crap, I shouldn't have put the keycaps on. <laughs> Dang it.
Uh, da -da 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 -da. That sucks. I gotta take off some of the keys again. Can we stop with these U slash Stanton Buck? It's the third in a month. What? Uh, da, 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 da. Wait. Huh? Uh, Doubler CS, thank you so much for the follow. What? Yo, Duck, Mr. Booduck, what is up with this design? Okay, I have found another issue. So for a tray mount, this is where the screw goes. So you could screw the PCB onto the post. So there's one here. Uh, there's one here that you can access. There are two in the front. If it'll focus. So I'm supposed to screw this part onto the PCB but there's no hole on the plate so how do I how do I screw the screw in for this post and this post like if you look at it from underneath look oh crap There's no way I can post it. There's no hole there. And there's no hole here. Same for that middle post. Look, it's just blocked off by the plate. So I can't put a screw in this middle post because it's blocked by the plate. Um, where are, th where? so there's two screws like towards the top middle. Uh, where did those go? Ah, okay, so th there are holes for these two posts, but I can't access one, two, three. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven screw mounts, but I could only screw four of them. Make it three point tray mount. Dremel those. I don't. <laughs> Can you even dremel through stainless steel? Mr. Budok, what is this? Okay, I will. I will make it a four point. I guess. Hmm. I mean, you guys have seen my videos. I am a... I, I am a duck fan. Like, I like duck's work, but this is... This is no-no. Wait, you're late to the party. Um, it's, it's good you're late. There are some glaring issues with this build. <laughs> Xburner X4, thank you so much for the subscription.
Why do people make tray mounts and then not with non-magnetized screws? That's so annoying. Why do people make tremors? Honestly, not bad with two points. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm going to have to reopen this to figure out this caps lock business. So yeah, I won't bother putting the rest. Not that I could put much. But yeah, I don't know. Duck this is kind of disappointing. And I'm pretty sure this is a stock plate that was offered with the board. I don't think the customer had a third party one cut. Isn't the problem with the plate PCB alignment toy pandas aren't great? Uh, I don't think it's an alignment issue. So I mean the rest of the switches are in fine. It's just that one switch uh, was shifted. So. Okay, yeah, I don't know. If you send a board to me, there is a high chance your something is wrong with your board and it, I am a cursed man for building boards. The pinholes don't have solder masks. Yeah, uh, but I don't think it was supposed to have them. Holy pandas aren't great. I could be wrong. Hyped 1337, these are non-lube switches. These are um, brown alps, which are which were not cleaned and kept in their factory condition, uh, which means they are technically lubed. Alps came lubed out of the factory a lot better than MX switches were nowadays. So yeah, it is lubed. It just wasn't lubed by the customer. If pins weren't supposed to go there, there would have been holes in the pin in the first place, right? I'm not sure. Because, I mean, this board supports both MX and uh, Alps. And for MX switches, I don't know if it's going into, like, the MX, the switch holes. Because PCB mount switches have those two legs. So I'm not sure. I would have to, yeah, I'm going to have to take a, let me... Let me see actually, this is not soldered in, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, it, it's definitely not uh, MX switch holes. 
works. Currently, the my the caps lock goes into these two pins. But yeah, there's no solder mask there. But it doesn't look like it was meant to have solder mask. I don't know. Yeah, I will just have to try to fix it later. But yeah, but for now, the caps lock is not soldered in. I will probably have to jump it to the two um, points next to it. But yeah, everyone, this is the duck sidewinder we just built today with uh, SKCM Brown Alps that were harvested from a 50, IBM 5140. Uh, the caps are SGI granite keycaps. The Alps are still in their factory condition. This is the side profile. Okay, so you can see that RGB coming out through those four cutouts earlier. Uh, bump bonds, still there, hasn't moved all that much. Other angle. But yeah, SGI granite looks pretty nice with this gray case. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the side gaps, like the this here, is kind of big. Actually, the gap in general is kind of big. <laughs> I don't know if I would call it Tokyo 60 level of gap, but it's a noticeable gap all around. Tokyo 60 clone. So I, I haven't seen a Tokyo 60 in person. I can't say for sure how bad it was, but it's definitely a definitely a big gap. Um and oh suede. I don't you also came in late, but so this board has seven mounting points. I can only access four of them. For three of the mounting points. There is no cutout in the plate for me to screw the, put the screw through. So yeah, I'm not sure if this, I'm not sure if all Alps plates came like that or if it's just this one, but. <sighs> but we are done with the build. Your curse of the broken boards is making the Zephyr look better every stream because Zeal is not paying you enough. <laughs> yeah, so I can't access the screw point, the mounting point in the middle. There's no hole in the plate to put a screw through. And the two mounting points Yeah, I can't access the two mounting points down here too. There's no cutout. I can only mount it on these four mounts. Um, yeah, I once again not sure if this is a one off issue or if this was prevalent in other sidewinders. But yeah. Oh, Shenshen, you had an underscore? So there was a Shenshen with an underscore and without an underscore. You told me your name was Shenshen, so I gave Shenshen without an underscore VIP. <laughs> let me uh, let me uh, fix it. Uh, I will do it later. Okay, we're gonna do a typing test. Um, and also the space bar is going to sound scratchy. So if you normally have a plunger for a space bar with the pole, it shouldn't be moving like this. So I did install the plunger, but the space bar doesn't have the pole that goes inside the plunger. So it is going to sound scratchy because that half pole is going to scrape against the plunger and sometimes not even going properly. So yeah. Keep that in mind, 
caps lock is not soldered on because I will have to debug that later, but the rest of the board should be fine. Okay, place your bets, everyone. Place your bets. Oh, only two bets, to, oh, three bets, okay. This is a sketchy build. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, normally duck builds don't go like this. I'm not sure what happened with this one. <laughs> okay, hopefully the space bar doesn't screw me over, but, okay. Three, two, one. Oh no! Caps lock is toggle. <laughs> re, re, redo. I gotta toggle off caps lock first. But I can't toggle caps lock because uh, it is not soldered on. I believe that should toggle caps lock off. Yeah. No, you don't need a caps lock, but I mean, for HHKB layout, you want to use this key as control or something. Okay, hopefully that's the last redo. Okay, three, three, two, one. Why do I type so fast on brown elves? Does this mean I should go to heavier switches? Did anyone guess 128? Any 128s? No 128s. Orange elves are better, Starson 3 says. Orange elves are very nice. Dang, okay, let's go through the mods. Uh, I'm going to skip caps lock because it is not soldered on. Come on. Uh, I do know space bar has issues. Like you could hear it, like sometimes, depending on the angle, like it, it binds because it's not fully, it's not, it's not copulating with the plunger. So normally it's supposed to go like this. So like there's no way it can bind, but right now you have like this. So sometimes it goes in, sometimes it hits here, sometimes it hits here. Like it's all over the place right now. So normal that's why you want the space bar with the bar. Uh, no, sweet. It, it has the plunger, but you know how the spacebar has that pole? There's no pole, so the plunger isn't doing much right now. Actually, the, yeah, the plunger doesn't do anything actually because there's no pole. Like if, like you see how it's wiggling. The plunger is there, but there's no pole that. There's no pole that is like interlocking with the plunger to prevent that you have like a half pole so it like it sometimes makes it and sometimes yeah <laughs> and it's not my build it's not my build <laughs> there's no pole on the spacebar to i thought the 
I thought there is. There's a pole on one side. Shouldn't there be? Is there no pole for the SGI granite spacebar? demonstrate again for Uncle Suede. So normally an Alps space bar, it, it can have two poles, it can have one pole, right Uncle Suede? So the SGI granite I believe comes with just one pole. And you have the plunger so that there's no wiggle room so that it just goes So normally when the space bar is fully out, like it's not completely out, like the, this pole is always inside the plunger at all times. So that's what prevents that wiggling from happening. So this, I have the plunger installed here, but this space bar doesn't have this pole. So you essentially have this, where there's nothing interlocking it. So sometimes depending on what angle you hit it, like that pole or the lack of a pole sometimes causes it to like hit the edge of the ring, the plunger. Sometimes it'll go in smoothly, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't have the thing that goes into the pole. Or he has like there's like a quarter of it. So there's like some there's like a little like micro pole. So like there's something and sometimes that micro pole hits the outside of the plunger. Sometimes it goes inside the plunger. So yeah, that's why the that's why the space bar is the way it is. Like if there was a pole, it shouldn't wiggle like this. Like if I hit it all the way up here, like it binds because that micro pole is like hitting the edge of the plunger and then with enough force it goes inside the plunger. See, I mean, that can be fixed. Yeah, so it can be fixed with a new space bar or, I don't know, you could attach something. You could extend your micro pole with an extender. Do some jelking motions, you know? But yeah, the, I think the wire itself is fine. Um, just need a new space bar. Okay, one more time. Or, whoa, what is this? What? Who is? Why am I looking at some Weeb's profile? Okay. Okay. Whew. Three, two, one. Oh, redo. Redo. Three, two, one. No, redo. Oh, redo.
123. Uh, please, Ren. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub. Okay, let's see what chat said. Is there a 123? Oh, Fly Bunny, 63, 123. I think that's it. The only person. Baby girl sleepy. You don't think this sounds that good. Uh, yeah, it def it definitely sounds a bit tinny. It's that brown alps hitting against the stainless steel plate against the uh, the tray mount posts. I agree. It, it it sounds it sounds pretty tinny. Yeah, not the best brown alps sound, but I mean, if it, it feels good, brown alps feel amazing. PSDY, I only just found out about your stream. I love you so much. Thank you for typing. Oof, I love you too. Would lube fix squeaky beam spring spacebar? Got some 204 grade zero on the way. List of options says. Uh, I've never operated on a beam spring, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I have never modded a beam spring myself. So yeah, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Huke lemon, two LED underglow is eh. Uh, yeah, Duck's under Duck's underglow for this at least not the best. I I do like his like side diffuser, but this one doesn't have it unfortunately. I imagine the feel is the appeal here. Yeah, I mean with Alps, it is definitely more about the feel than sound. Cards FM Brown Alps are your favorite. Yeah, Brown Alps are definitely one of my favorite switches too. For both Alps and in general. But yeah, that is today's build. Once again, the Duck Sidewinder with Brown Alps and SGI Granite Keycaps. Uh, quality of the case. Pretty standard duck quality. Like, I don't think just because it's a $300 tray mount case, um, duck skimped out on anything in terms of the quality of the machining and anno. But yeah, I, I don't know what is up with the plate and PCB thing. I don't, I don't know if MX doesn't have this issue and if this is only an Alps related thing or if this is just a one-off thing like why does he have seven tray mounts but only have allow access for four of the mounts and then caps lock is shifted on the PCB <sighs> yeah other than that would I recommend this mm. I don't know <laughs> I, I think between a $300 Sidewinder and a $325 Fiel, I would probably take the Fiel over this. Um, if I had to, I wouldn't pay that much for a Tremont in the first place, but uh, I mean, I, if, you, if you do want to get the Duck if you do want to say you own a duck board for on a budget, yeah, you have a duck board here. It has most of the classic duck characteristics in terms of aesthetics. Yeah. Mm, I have some stuff to unbox today. Da -da -da -da. I have another artisan. Well, I technically unboxed it already, but I'll unbox it on stream for you guys. 
Uh, invisible hand? No, this is from the fiduciary responsibility. Oof. DJ swayed this guy resin boy now, yeah. Look at this. Look at my egg face. Uh, I unbox the exchange traded funds keycap on a, a previous stream. But yeah, I for some reason received that first over this one, even though this colorway ran first. But look at that, that is a nice creepy egg face look. Greenbot, thank you so much for the subscription. Like the thing with all the, the egg faces, it's like... It's so creepy, but it's so artistic at the same time. Yeah, my camera is having trouble focusing. But oof, look at that uh, maker's mark on there. If you look at it like this, it's almost like Thomas the Choo Choo Train. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of with the white face. <laughs> but yeah, I, I am pretty happy with this one. And the keycap itself is pretty thick too. So that's always nice. But yeah, thank you, thank you ETF for the win. I mean, it is RNG, so I just got lucky, but yeah, thank you. This is a nice one. You want a mineral today? Nice. I won the uh, I want a Gargan Tua, the first one. I won the first one and then couldn't win anything else. <laughs> this is such a weird question, but how did you get the icons on your phone to be so big? What? The icons on your phone? I just have a standard I it's an iPhone, this is standard app size. I have the, yeah, I haven't done anything. But yeah, look, it's pretty cute. That's all I had to unbox, actually. <laughs> I will put this, oh, in my resin box. It is safe and sound now. <sighs> DJ Sweet, I'll get that from you, Nate. Just give me a bit. Yeah, I will trade it to you, Uncle Sweet. I'm down to trade it with you. Uh, I'm guessing that's Zachary. Uh, Sergeant Beerface, thank you so much for the subscription. What do you think of the Win Keyless LZS? Are you talking about a CLS? Uh, I love the CLS, Zachary. I own one. That is probably my favorite board. Especially because it is built with Alps. Straight classy. I don't think getting into Artisans would be safe for your wallet. Yeah, it's not. It wouldn't be so safe for your wallet. Uh, Carlos Cube Man Jr. Hello. Got the free potion Artisan yesterday. Nice. Ooh. E M oh, MMA 2009, you're here, what's up? Ooh, you just caught me at the tail end of my stream. Um, I did also receive this from Uncle Suede. Some nice... Some nice white on black double shots. Uh, I will probably be using this somewhere. But yeah, but the cool thing about this is that it has a num row with just the numbers. Like that is that is num row profile. And it's got some cool legends here and there. That's pretty neat. 
So yeah, I'm gonna be using this somewhere. Oh hey, I'm Uncle Suede, yeah. This is this was I courtesy of Uncle Suede, I managed to get one of these. Um, it, it's only good for the alphas and it has a very chad spacebar. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a cool set. I might need to pick up another white on black GMK set so I can use this. Yeah, lots of cool sub legends. Or I guess they're not. Are these are these considered sub legends if they're off to the side? Side? No, it's not side legends. It's dual? Le is this considered dual legend? Oh wow! Almost all of these alpha. A lot of the alphas actually have legends. I wasn't expecting that many. Look at that set though. That is a pretty neat set. So yeah, I am maybe I might put this on my gasket because that is using white on black. Yeah, I don't even know is this is this a nine U or ten U spacebar? Let's let's check. It's quite a long spacebar. It is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think eight point two five spacebar. It's pretty long. Kafka Pro, hello. Uh, thoughts on Sidewinder typing feel. I cannot say yet, <laughs> uh, so I'm guessing you came in late, or after, or, yeah. So I'm assuming you know that the Sidewinder has seven mounting points, which are symmetrical. Um, there are two here, two here, two here, and then one like here. So I was excited to try that. But, I only have access to four of the mounts. <laughs> I could only screw it here, 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 here. There's no hole in the plate in the middle for me to access that point here, and the two points down here. So yeah, I can't say. <laughs> I mean, that like Duck used this new proprietary mounting system. I can't even utilize all seven mounting points. Yeah, I don't know if it's just specific to this plate, and I am hit with another plate curse, or if this is prevalent across all sidewinders. But yeah, uh, I'm also have to going to do some work on this because it had other issues, um, which you can see if you watch the vod. But yeah. Oh, I did get another resin in too. There's no cool unboxing for it, but. Da -da -da -da. Look at this boy! Look at that colorway, it's so nice. I have been lusting after this colorway for a while now. I finally managed to get one. DJ Suede, haha, we lost Nate? <laughs> oh, I see what you mean by we lost so much resin. Yeah, I am pretty deep in the resin. I have drank too much juice and I blame lightning. Uh, holy pounds aren't great. All right, good night, NK. It's so late. Hey, have a great night. Hope to see you tomorrow. But yeah, Gaff, really clean sculpts. Or casts, I'm using the right vocab. Actual glacier, I will mash a few keys for you.
Oh, whoops, that sent that to Twitch chat. <laughs> Jisoo, hello, you came at the end today. <laughs> yeah, I am almost done with my stream, so. Long day at work, feels bad, Jisoo. Um, but yeah, I will be streaming tomorrow and Sunday at 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Tomorrow I am building... I'm building a E7 tomorrow. E7, that's a board a lot of people haven't seen, I think. E7 tomorrow and then a, an elephant on Sunday. So two pretty interesting and exciting boards coming up this weekend so please come out if you guys want I am still on my attempt on the road to partner I am hoping after next week's string of, as after this weekend and the next weekend's string of streams hopefully I can attempt to apply for partner but yeah that is today's stream any final questions comments Concerns. Straight classy Hamon or Bento? I don't I feel like that's not a question you could answer, straight classy. <laughs> You're asking about a red set or a blue set. <laughs> I think it comes down to preference. Waffle high, favorite sneaker. Uh CPs, common projects. Common projects or ultra boosts. I'm not too big of a sneakerhead. I was I was kind of into sneakers, but like never really fully into it. But yeah. Silent Saint TV. What switches in the E7 build? I forgot. Maybe Helios. I yeah. I haven't opened up the package yet. Common Cod project goes with everything. I agree. Worst Lux player NA. Oh yeah, knock Glacier, your arm. Or wasn't that a while ago though? Are you I'm hoping it's okay now. Because we have a typing competition coming up soon, Glacier. Not that you need a fully healed arm because you beat us all last time with a broken arm, but it is almost the end of the month, so yeah. Um, and sorry I haven't done the giveaway yet, guys. I am still gathering part or items for the giveaway. It will be a good giveaway, I promise you. I, it will make the wait. The wait will all have been worth it because I am gonna be giving away a lot for my 5K celebration. Uh, what giveaway, boy underscore prices? Uh, for my 5K celebration, 5K was my next milestone to hit for YouTube. We hit that this year, and there will be a giveaway. There is one more, one last. Uh, item I am waiting to receive and then I will film the giveaway video with the instructions on how to enter and then you guys can go ahead but yeah it will be a pretty big giveaway no you can't join the giveaway or comp because you've been busy it's okay next time not glacier It's going to be a dan- no, <laughs> it, it, it's, it won't be a hard giveaway, but it will be spread across my different platforms. I'm going to have one just for Instagrammers, one for people on Twitch, one for YouTube. So you can enter all three, it's just, it will require you to be on different platforms. But yeah, it will be a big giveaway. Invisible? No, the giveaway hasn't happened yet. I was just saying how um, I'm just waiting for the last item to come in so I can film the giveaway video that will give you guys the instructions on how to enter. But the giveaway will be worth it. Invis! Don't talk! Shh. You leaks! Invis! <laughs> Freaking Invis! <laughs> <laughs> But yes, I am giving away, well actually I said it before on stream, I am giving away 
2.25 keyboards on top of other things. I'm giving away two and a quarter keyboards plus a lot more. Give away your camera and shoot your next stream with your iPhone. <laughs> what? What if... Um, Dissonant, yes. You, you, would, you will definitely want to tune in because one of the boards will be given away exclusive you would you will have to be in twitch chat at the moment to attempt to win one of the boards some of the other stuff you will have to be on instagram to win some of them just youtube yeah Okay, actually, before I end the stream, let's see if there's anyone I can raid tonight. Oh, there is. We can raid Mr. Jayoon. If you guys haven't seen my interview of Jayoon, you guys should definitely check it out. He is a StarCraft remastered, StarCraft Brood War remastered. Uh, he's one of the top North American players. But yeah, yeah, he's just a personality streamer, caster in general for StarCraft Remastered. Um, who's also into mechanical keyboards. So that's why I interviewed him. So let's go give him a raid. Um, 56. Oh, that's a pretty good raid for Jayun. I think he'll be happy with that. But yeah, it looks like chat is pretty dead. So I will see you guys all tomorrow, hopefully. So until then... See ya nerds, let's go raid Jay.